In the small town of Blackwood, a legend was whispered among its residents. They spoke of a creature they called the Thing, a monster so terrifyingly creepy and brutal that it would haunt their dream. Some claimed to have seen it lurking in the shadows, while others insisted it was just a myth. But for one group of friends, the thing was more than just a legend. It was a nightmare that would soon become all too real. It started with a camping trip in the nearby woods. The group of five friends, all in their early twenties, had been planning the trip for weeks. They packed their tents, sleeping bags, and enough food and water to last them a few days. As they set up camp, they laughed and joked, enjoying the peace and quiet of the great outdoors. But as night fell and the fire began to die down, they heard something moving in the bushes. At first, they dismissed it as a raccoon or some other small animal. But as the rustling grew louder, they began to feel uneasy. Suddenly, a figure emerged from the darkness. It was the thing. The friends were frozen in terror as they watched the creature approach their campsite. It was humanoid in shape, but its skin was a sickly gray color, and its eyes glowed a bright red. Its fingers were long and thin, ending in sharp, pointed claws. As the thing drew closer, the friends could see that its body was covered in scars and bruises. It looked as though it had been through some kind of brutal ordeal. The creature stopped just a few steps away from the group and stared at them. They could feel its gaze penetrating them, as if it was searching for something. Suddenly, it lunged towards them, its claws slicing through the air. The friends jumped to their feet, grabbing everything they could find to defend themselves. They fought with everything they had, but the thing was too strong. It seemed to have an endless supply of energy, and its attacks were relentless. One by one, the friends fell, their bodies bruised by the thing's claws. Soon, only one was left standing. She was a young woman named Sarah, and she had managed to climb up into a tree to escape the thing's grasp. From her perch, she watched in horror as the creature finished off her friends. But even as she hid in the safety of the tree, Sarah knew that she was not safe. The thing was still out there, and it was only a matter of time before it found her. As the night wore on, Sarah waited in terror, listening for any sign of the thing's approach. But it was silent, as though it had disappeared into the darkness. Finally, as dawn began to break, Sarah gathered her courage and climbed down from the tree. She knew that she had to find help or she would never make it out of the woods alive. She stumbled through the forest, her heart pounding in her chest. Every sound made her jump and every shadow seemed to hold the thing's twisted form. But after what felt like hours of walking, Sarah saw a glimmer of light in the distance. It was a cabin, and she knew that she had to make it there. As she stumbled towards the cabin, she could hear something moving behind her. She turned and saw the thing, its red eyes fixed on her once again. Sarah ran as fast as she could, her legs pumping with adrenaline. She could hear the thing's footsteps behind her, its claws scraping against the ground. Finally, she reached the cabin, and she slammed the door shut behind her. She could hear the thing pounding on the door, trying to break through. But Sarah was safe. For now, 
She knew that she had to find a way to escape, to get out of the woods and away from the thing's grasp. As she searched the cabin for a way out, Sarah realized that she was not alone. There were other people there, trapped just like her. They had all heard the legend of the thing, but none of them had ever believed it was real. Now, as they huddled together in the cabin, they knew that they were facing a horror beyond their wildest nightmares. For days they stayed in the cabin, waiting for help to arrive, but no one came. And as the days turned into weeks, they began to realize that they were on their own. The thing was still out there, waiting for them. And they knew that they would have to fight it, or die trying. In the end, it was Sarah who led the charge. She rallied the survivors, and armed them with whatever weapons they could find. They ventured out into the woods, ready to face the thing once and for all. It was a brutal battle, one that lasted for hours. But in the end, the survivors emerged victorious. The thing lay dead at their feet, its twisted form finally still. As they made their way back to civilization, Sarah knew that she would never forget the horror. If you like my story, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video for more and similar stories. See you.